John and his dad, uh, we call him, this is J2, his dad is J1, <laughs> his John King also. So what we did is they came to us, wanted to talk to about what have you got as a race team, what can you do for us, why would it work, why should we be with Red Horse versus this team, this team, this team, why, why are you the right person? And we showed them what we had. We brought them in and said, look, this is what the race team looks like. Uh, we do a lot of work with people. It, part of the time, I'm going to be your dad. Part of the time, I'm going to be your cheerleader. Part of the time, I'm going to be beating you on the back because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about. Uh, we're in there to try to mold a young driver such that they can be very competitive as they go forward in their career. And as I talked to John and his dad, that's kind of the way it came across. My team manager, Kevin Ray, worked very hard on making sure all this is going back and forth, and we're still trying to put all the pieces together. We don't have all the sponsorship done. Uh, you notice that truck out there said Red Horse all over it. Now, we're, we're millimeters away from the sponsorship deal, but millimeters away is still away. So we're still working very hard on that. The one thing that I was impressed with, and Chad has said it two or three times, I've never gone and sat with a driver as much as with John, and all I get is, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, uh-huh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, very polite, very disciplined, incredibly calm in a big race like this. Uh, you guys probably scanned him a little bit. You heard that voice on there. You didn't hear him up on the chip. You heard a guy that was very meticulous about it. Terry Cook is a spotter. You, most of you guys know Terry. He's raced 400 truck win or 400 truck races under his belt. So having Terry as a spotter fills in some of the background that John doesn't have. And that's what we did is we kind of put a, a big warm blanket around John and tried to maximize his ability. And folks, you see what <coughs> happened tonight. Other additional questions? Right back here, please. Oh, I'm sorry, in the back. Uh, John, Doug Turnbull from WSB Radio. I know we've talked a little bit back from your days of Bill Elliott Racing, and I wanted to kind of allude to that. Uh, Casey Roderick for Bill Elliott Racing's timed himself into the Nationwide Series and is, uh, you know, going to be trying to run full-time there. You're trying to run full-time here in the trucks and just taking the truck win. What did that experience there with uh, that backing and from a restrictor plate r race in and of himself, Bill Elliott, help you prepare for this? And by the way, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I mean, that, you know, an experience like Bill Elliott is 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 uh, is like none other. I mean, look at I mean he has he has won everything there is to win, past champion. Uh, we just moved down there, kind of came out of the blue, worked really hard, learned a lot, learned a lot from Bill, learned a lot about the business. You know, how I need to conduct myself, and uh, maybe that's the secret. <laughs> it may be. What's, I may written, just on, what's written on the back of your <laughs> seat in the truck? What's on that seat? Bill Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bill Elliott C with an insert for him. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we brought a little bit of that mystery in there too. <laughs> but uh, there's no doubt how much the amount, just huge amount of knowledge I learned from Bill Elliott Racing and from Ernie and from Dan. I mean, the whole family. I mean, just just great people. Just just great to be around. Uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't give it for nothing. I, mean, I wouldn't take anything for it, you know. Go ahead, Reed. Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. For Tom, uh, uh, anything going forward for Todd at all? We're working on that one um, week to week, day to day. Um, we've got, um, like I said with John, we've got a lot of issues and a lot of possibilities that far away, and we're continuing to work it. Um, I think we're going to be successful, but uh, being successful and thinking you're going to be successful are two different things. Um, I'm always uh, glass is half full. If it's not half full, it's at least three quarters full. So I'm, we believe that we can do the undoable right now and get sponsorship in the truck series. And that's what we're working on. 